it was a, a major pit experience. Uh, but as Julia says, you know, he says, I wish I'd had your pit experience. <laughs> <laughs> Julia's from Uganda. We have infiltrated and successfully utilized the weapons of the media to bring our belief system into the grassroots of our, of our society. Hello, my name is Oz Hillman, and I'd like to invite you to join us at the 2009 International Church in the Workplace Conference on the theme of Reclaiming the Seven Mountains of Culture, held on February 6th through 8th in Atlanta. You see, there are seven cultural mountains, business, government, media, arts and entertainment, religion, family, and education that represent the core foundation for any culture. Sadly, over the years, we've been losing the culture to ungodly influences. Julius Oyet says he helped plan and write Uganda's so-called Kill the Gays Bill. On April 1st and 2nd, 2011, two of Oyet's close colleagues will be featured speakers at the Social Transformation Conference to be held at the Harvard Northwest Science Building. If a man sleeps with a man, if a woman sleeps with a woman, the Bible, this Bible says such people should be killed. So our use of the youth, our use of the media have really helped us to capture the Seven Mountain. The gay bill was tabled in Parliament on 14th of November 2009. I was there. But before it was tabled in Parliament, I have been part of the brain behind it. Apostles Oz Hillman and Pat Francis are featured speakers at the 2011 Social Transformation Conference. Hillman says he met Julius Oyet in November 2005 and traveled in spring 2006 with Pat Francis to Uganda to lead an evangelizing crusade with Oyet. At the several-day event, according to Hillman, Apostle Julius Oyet called upon his audience to give up their witchcraft tools and condoms. In February 2011, Oz Hillman spoke at a conference held by the Atlanta-based College of Prayer Ministry that is currently holding a fundraiser for Julius Oyet, who runs the Uganda College of Prayer. Today I want to welcome you to the world of the College of Prayer and introduce you to some of God's most dynamic leaders around the globe. It broke our hearts last year when we got news from Uganda. But we still had to turn away over 3,000 pastors who could not come because we had we did not have service and funds won't you step up won't you partner with the college of prayer in a strategic ministry tell us about what's happening in uganda with the college of prayer there yes uganda it's an amazing thing our leader uh, bishop julius oyet with lifeline ministries uh, i met him a dear friend of odds hillman uh, marketplace leaders uh, ministry uh, here in atlanta the gay rights movement has literally owned the arts and entertainment mountain. According to the COPS 2007 990 tax form, in 2007, the College of Prayer gave Julius Oyet over $11,000 for travel expenses. Uh, when we were introduced, it was uh, just a divine appointment. Members of Bishop Julius Oyet's College of Prayer group in Parliament have included MP David Bahati and MP Benson Obua Agual, the original co-sponsors of the anti-homosexuality bill who first introduced it in Uganda's Parliament on April 29, 2009, and Honorable Nasaba Buturo, another key backer of the bill and former head of Uganda's Office of Ethics and Integrity. There were 248 who came, 50 Praise members God. of Parliament, and they invited me in the College of Prayer to come back twice a year for the next three years and mentor them. Wonderful. And we just, uh, just two weeks ago, I was with the members of Parliament and had a marvelous time. These are dear brothers and sisters in Christ, and they are in earnest about righteousness and the cause of Christ. And uh, uh, the amazing thing is uh, they are standing for righteousness in areas where we have long ago sold ourselves down the river. There's no female dog that meets with a female dog. There's no male dog that lasts after a male dog. Even animals are wiser than homosexuals. Do you hear me? The Bible tells us, according to Leviticus chapter 2, 18 verse 22, you shall not lie with a male as a man lies with a woman. 
It is an abomination. Julius Oyet, one of the most powerful religious leaders in Uganda, has been in top leadership positions in Uganda's two leading born again umbrella groups. Yes, ma'am. I think the enemy is using that strategy in this country, in those seven mountains. Yeah, yeah, they're they're. The gay people have got it down, that's for sure. Yeah, yeah, they're the unrighteous are are taking those mountains uh, before us.